just a fair warning on this video. It's not very well recorded just because it was uh, kind of spur of the moment trip to Black Magic. And uh, I wasn't exactly sure if I could film in there. Um, so I just kept the camera kind of low and just uh, had it on record while we were walking around. But I figured I'd give you guys kind of a little cool insight on the Black Magic, the, the building and the, the shop. It's pretty interesting. We got some cool stuff sitting around here. It's in kind of an industrial area in Vegas. Uh, some junkyards and stuff around it. I was in high school. What? Yeah. I'm getting some. At the very least, I'm getting that van, man. That van. Van, man. My buddy Rocky was buying a bunch of chrome for his 62 Impala build. And uh, we definitely needed a vehicle to take it back home. No way that was going to fit on the carry-on luggage. So then they uh, asked us if we wanted to see the back of the shop. And we're all like, sure. So a pretty cool place. A lot of manufacturing going on. Some Impala arms just sitting up there. Um, and then back in here, I, I think this is air conditioned back in here. That's why they have that door. And this is where all the CNC machines are. Big heavy equipment. Rocky, the guy standing there, he actually runs a CNC for work, so it was kind of neat for him to see some of the same machines that he deals with on a day to day. That's a dump manifold that they were uh, designing when we were there. This is from September of 2019 when we were here. And I think these are out now and ready for sale. Little mini hydraulic pump, keychain pumps. That's cool. Then they took us outside and showed us one of their hoppers, their old hoppers, um, and showed us how they use a leaf spring to lift up the lower arm or reset the suspension while it's up in the air. Yeah, so that's the only issue that you have. Kind of cool for Ron to do that for us and show us some of the tips and tricks and stuff. There you go. That's probably what I'll do too. So I just have the regular. Like if you look at the. See how far that spring pocket's out for a G-body arm? Yeah. I, I did two, I cheated, I did two things with this car. So, move the spring pocket out. Yep. And I brought the ball joint in three quarters of an inch. And then I put a stock upper on it, I didn't even extend it. Yeah, I see that. I, I didn't want, I wanted the good tuck, yeah. but I didn't want them to keep hitting the fenders. See, my problem. Didn't matter, it still hit the fenders anyway, so <laughs> yeah, it was a time. Yeah, so my problem is, is I'm fucking chewing up tires so bad when I'm trying right. to run regularly and not hop. But then, in but yeah, that case, you know, take a little note of that frame. Back, uh, yeah, see the way Pinky did his, he put like a tube. So that, right, that frame in there isn't even you know, reinforced like really around that spring yeah, fog. You don't see a bunch of heavy plates or nothing like way that. Way I mean, I'm sure it's reinforced, tube, but you don't see a bunch of steel uh, hanging out in front of those spring pockets. I would right there. weld the pad in there that's threaded and tapped. Yeah. yeah. And maybe have a pad come back further so you can actually have something that will catch you new like a pocket right. and then bolt right. it down and have the leaf spring come up. And just go down and you can even get a turnbuckle to preload it, Yeah, you know? A little uh, lost footage video. I know it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't recorded very well, but uh, I figured it'd be kind of cool for some of you guys to see the inside of uh, Black Magic's facility. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go back to Vegas uh, next month, like February 19th, I'm flying out. Uh, I'm actually going there for a show in Arizona just because it's cheaper to fly into Vegas than it is to fly into Arizona. Um, so we're gonna hang out and Vegas for a few days and then drive over to the Arizona show. Um, so I, we might swing back by Black Magic. Uh, if anybody from Black Magic actually watches my videos, uh, let me know if you guys be interested in doing like a full on uh, tour of the shop and show off some things. Wouldn't have to be too intense or nothing like that. I'm a pretty laid back fella, you know? So uh, yeah, let me know if anybody actually watches my stuff from Black Magic. Shoot me an email or uh, just comment down below this video and yeah, we can get that done.